Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so sorry for not posting. I feel terrible about it. So today I'm going to be filming my August 2021 wrap up. I hope you enjoy even though I only made a few things because most of the month I was working on a wall hanging which you guys will get to see in this month, this month's wrap video. So I hope you enjoy. The first bracelet that I made, I definitely loved. It is the Cherries bracelet. And remember, all of the pattern numbers are in the description box for you guys. So make sure to go make some of this stuff if you feel like it. This Cherry bracelet, I have a photo for you guys since I've sold it on Etsy. I loved making it. It is so cute. I tied my knots incredibly loose just to test it. And I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. So that is number one, the Cherries bracelet. Number two is this cute little colorful twist. I really want to do a tutorial for this one. I think I might. Um, I'm definitely contemplating doing that. So um, this bracelet I got bored of, but I think it's pretty cute. So that's the colorful twist. Um, the third bracelet that I made this month is this arrowhead. Now, if you have been watching me for a while, you will know that I have despised arrowheads forever. I have hated them because when I was younger, I would try to make them and they would turn out horrible. But this time around, with all my many months of practice and hard work, I was able to make an arrowhead that looked pretty good. So I'm really proud of myself for finally making the arrowhead, so please enjoy. I really want to do a double arrowhead next. I think that'd be super cute. But baby steps, right? Baby steps. Um, right after I made this arrowhead, I actually made another arrowhead. I made a rainbow arrowhead. It's super tiny, super thin. All these thin bracelets I think look really cute. Um, I am de definitely proud of myself for making the arrowhead pattern. It took a lot of patience and I actually did it rather quickly, so definitely enjoyable. The fifth thing that I made this month was of course a thin Aztec bracelet. You guys, we all love this pattern, right? Thank you, Alex Innovations, for gifting us this pattern. It is the highlight of my day sometimes. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, but I definitely love this pattern. I really don't like to usually go out of my comfort zone with colors. But I don't know. I've never thought of usually... I don't really care for the color orange that much. Like, I'm okay with it. But it's not my favorite. So I used it with this purple and pink. And I think it turned out pretty cute. Um, make sure to tell me what you think, and leave any pattern numbers to below if you want me to make anything, because I'm kind of open to stuff right now, because, well, that wall hanging took up, like, millions of views, but it's fine. Um, so, the sixth thing, you may remember this, I made a video with my dog, I kind of failed, but the bracelet turned out super cute. That video, I'm gonna make a part two, except that time I'm going to do better at it, trust me, it will be better the next time I do it, I promise. Um, this is the Neon Rectangles bracelet. I want to make a tutorial for this one as well, but I haven't really gotten around to it because of the wall hanging. But, um, yeah, what do you guys think? So many different colors. It's kind of cute, though. I kind of like it. The colors are- this neon is kind of washed out, but I think it's pretty cool. Using all these different colors. You never think that they would look good together, but it looks kind of nice, doesn't it? Okay. Um, the seventh thing and eighth thing were these frog and owl keychains. Um, I have to have a photo because I sold them, but I loved these patterns. I love doing the animal keychains, and I really want to do a whole huge collection of them. But I'm just not sure when or when I have the time, but hopefully I- school is taking up my time. I'm so sorry. I hate it, but I will- I will find time. I will do it. I want to make keychains right now. I'm kind of in a keychain phase thing, but yeah. Um, the final thing that I made this month was this thick ass tag. I'm glad at least I got one thing in over 30 strings. I think this is 30 strings, actually. Now, I don't know the pattern number to this one, so it won't be in the description box. I'm so sorry, but I couldn't find it, and I looked for a very long time for you guys. But, um, this is the thick ass tag bracelet. That's what I called it. Uh, yeah, and I used the standard colors on the pattern, so I think it looks pretty nice. Um, all the little arrowhead things are super- Oh, I kind of hated making it. I low-key didn't like it because I was like- It was turning out crooked in the top and I was like, Well, that's not gonna turn out good. But it doesn't look too bad. So, yeah. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. So, that was basically it. I'm gonna show you a sneak peek of what you'll get to see the next month. That's your sneak peek. So, enjoy. 
keep yourself guessing. Make sure to check out the description box and follow all of my social media and maybe check out my Etsy shop if you guys feel like it. Um, have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching this cute little wrap-up video. I hope you will leave a comment below so I can know what to make next.